Shed hunting this week on Big Sky Outdoors. Sky Outdoors is brought to you by Counter Assault, your ultimate protection in the wild. By Montana Army Navy, get it, get out, and live it. By Pierce RV, your RV super center in Billings, Great Falls, and Kalispell. And by Don K Subaru, locally owned, community involved. Welcome to this week's edition of Big Sky Outdoors. Today we're at one of the many wildlife management areas along the Rocky Mountain front and we're shed hunting. On May 15th at noon, the wildlife management area opens to the public to go search for shed antlers from elk. This is a place where elk typically will come out as winter descends and they'll spend their winter here on where the wind typically blows the slopes free of snow and they can get to the grass. And then by early spring, the uh, elk will start to migrate slowly back towards the, uh, the wilderness area. And during that time period, the bulls will shed their antlers. And that's what people are here for today, to find shed antlers. What do you expect today? Uh, just a good day out in the woods. Yeah. I mean, Hornet's pretty addicting, it's pretty fun, and yeah. it's going to be a little bit of, ro of a rodeo, it's going to be pretty fun to watch yeah. all that. Uh, hopefully we'll be blessed with a couple horns too. Uh, we're here to pick up some sheds, hopefully. Uh, we're from Washington State, uh, southeast corner, Tri-Cities, Washington. we got three buddies here, and um, we all left last night at about 6 o'clock and drove straight on through and showed up at daylight this morning. Nice. So I just like the atmosphere. And I don't think you can beat the scenery for something to do on a spring day either. Well, we just make this a family trip every year. My daughters and wife and grandkids come up just to participate in the, the, the whole event. It's just a blast. You can make it as complicated or as simple as you like. Complicated would be horses and camping out here a week ahead of time and, and all the necessary equipment. Simple would be come up here, park, and walk in with a, some sort of frame, a backpack, so when you find antlers, you can strap it to them. The big thing is people who come here um, in vehicles, whether it's cars, pickups, four-wheelers, um, they have to stay on the roads. They can park off to the side, but they can't go uh, cross country. And, and the wildlife that's here, it's, it's gonna hear people coming and take off. We used to open this at midnight on May 15th, and we changed it to noon just so we could avoid the remote possibility of somebody being injured, running into a bear in the middle of the night. And it seems to have worked. It's the middle of the day, the weather is absolutely beautiful, people have been having a lot of success finding sheds. Let's take a little break and check out this week's quiz question. The wildlife management areas along the Rocky Mountain front and Montana are managed by Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks. These special areas have been set aside for the protection and to provide habitat for various wildlife. Many of the wildlife management areas came about through a collaborative effort between sportsmen, 
ranchers, conservationists, and those that love Montana's outdoors. So that brings us to this week's outdoor quiz question. What was the first wildlife management area to be set aside along the Rocky Mountain front? If you know the answer, find Big Sky Outdoors on Facebook or at www.bigskyoutdoorsshow.com. Click on our outdoor quiz link, give us the correct answer, and you'll be entered to win a canister of bear spray from our friends at Counter Assault, your ultimate protection in the wild. Big Sky Outdoors will be right back after these messages. The 2014 Subaru Outback from Don K Subaru is an IIHS top safety pick and gets 30 MPG. And just listen to what our customers are saying. This was the best, most enjoyable experience I've ever had in buying a car, Sarah F. We have nearly 50 Outbacks in stock starting as low as $23,495. Come experience it for yourself. Don K Whitefish, locally owned, community involved. My name is Luke Cacoli. I'm the Conservation Programs Manager for the Boone and Crockett Club. I work out here at the Theodore Roosevelt Memorial Ranch, uh, taking care of the Rasmussen Wildlife Conservation Center. Going on my third season. So the Boone and Crockett Club purchased the Theodore Roosevelt Memorial Ranch in 1987 as part of the club's centennial celebration. A couple of the club members got together and decided this 6,000 acre parcel was just kind of a gem on the Rocky Mountain front. They purchased the ranch in hopes to demonstrate to the public that wildlife and livestock could coexist in harmony. Um, we do that by raising a self-sustaining cattle herd. The ran just like any other family owned cattle ranch. Um, we're right around 250 cow-calf pairs. And we just make sure that we're using the best ranching techniques available to make sure that, that our livestock and the wildlife that surrounds us both have plentiful habitat, a healthy ecosystem to live in, uh, while still allowing uh, plentiful public access for hunting and other forms of recreation. We've got a very abundant diversity in wildlife we see not only on our ranch but all across the, the Rocky Mountain front. Uh, if we're talking predators, Anything with fangs or fur, you know, it's probably cut across the ranch a time or two. We've got whitetails, mule deer, elk. Um, you can look to the cliffs and see habitat that will probably contain bighorn sheep and mountain goats. We've had moose cut across the ranch a time or two. Maybe that is what makes us a jewel in the crown of the continent, is that this transition is happening within about three miles, give or take, going from the flat rolling plains through the montane zone subalpine all the way up to alpine. Um, you can see white-tailed deer down in the creek bottoms living in the, the willows and the cottonwoods a little bit higher up into the plateaus and throughout the mountains you'll see those big mountain muleys. Um, the grizzly bears will roam from plains to mountains as well whereas black bear usually inhabit more of the, the forested areas. Um, and then getting into the cliffs you'll see mountain goats, bighorn sheep, maybe even a wolverine or two. The Rasmussen Wildlife Conservation Center is open April 1st through about October 1st. So usually April, May, September, we're primarily focused on school groups, either place-based education up here on the ranch, or we do outdoor classrooms. So like any private ranch on the front, uh, the TRMR is no exception. We do encourage if not require um, everyone that would like to access the ranch to at least check in with us. Um, either come down to the ranch manager's residence or come up and visit the education center. Uh, but just check in with us. Uh, we can share thoughts and ideas of where you might want to go, depending on what you might want to see. Uh, we can point you in the right direction. So there really is no other place in the world quite like this. The 
the grasslands and the farmlands to the east of us and then these, these beautiful 7,000 foot cliffs on the west side. Um, so just the, the grandeur, I guess, itself makes it unique. If you'd like more information about wildlife management areas, visit Fish, Wildlife, and Parks website. We're going to travel north now along the Rocky Mountain front and look for some more wildlife. But first, check out this week's fishing report. The 2014 Subaru Outback from Don K. Subaru is an IIHS top safety pick and gets 30 MPG. And just listen to what our customers are saying. This was the best, most enjoyable experience I've ever had in buying a car, Sarah F. We have nearly 50 Outbacks in stock starting as low as $23,495. Come experience it for yourself. Don K. Whitefish, locally owned, community involved. Army Navy is your hunting headquarters. It's the best place around when you're serious about saving money on the things you need to go hunting. Knife sharpeners, wool gloves, backpacking meals, optics, socks, boots, insoles, stoves. Why, it's a virtual hunter's checklist. All name brands and all at fantastic savings. On Highway 2 in Evergreen and Highway 93 in Whitefish. MontanaArmyNavy.com Elk are, uh, are a very you know, popular thing, and uh, you know, with people coming in here for this event, uh, the the novelty of an elk antler, you know, gets a lot of people excited. Whether it's a, a harvested animal that you might have gotten during the hunting season, or if it happens to be a shed antler that picked up off the ground, uh, there's a thrill to it. This is our fifth year. I guess this is my fifth year here. My husband comes up here. They've been coming up here for. Oh, him and his dad have been coming up here for like 10 years, I think. <laughs> it's definitely gotten bigger. This is the biggest I've ever seen it by far. It took us a half an hour just to hike up from the back truck to the front truck. Wow. So, so yeah, this is, um, I got skunked the first couple years and then last year I hit the jackpot. I had quite a few, um, pretty big, one really big one and then a couple of little sets and, and a moose paddle. And so I went back to my same spot to see if I could find a moose, the same moose paddle and see if he was in there and found this dead guy, but no moose paddle. Oh. <laughs> um, got to bring the little one this year. So this is his, yes, this is his first horn hunt, three weeks old. <laughs> uh, elk have a mystique to them. And, uh, and knowing that uh, uh, the event today is, is looking for shed elk antlers, uh, people can pick one up and, and actually sit back and think that, well, this animal's still out there. He's, he's walking around, he's uh, growing a new set, he might be back here next year. And so, you know, it, uh, it makes something that, you know, people really do hold, uh, you know, dear to their hearts. And, and when they, they find antlers, they're excited. What they do with them is, is up to them. Some are made into different objects. Some of them are sold, some of them just go in garages. And, and hung up and they can look at them later. Sure. Uh, but uh, they are pretty exciting for a lot of people yeah. to find. Yeah, we nice found ball. a nice little head. <laughs> it's like a big Easter egg hunt for grown-ups, I guess. <laughs> I, I guess, I, I just, you know, it's, I guess I don't know why. It's fun to get outside and a lot of times you don't see bull, big bulls like this during hunting season, you know, you get to find the horns and see them when you pick them, you know. In here, you, I mean, you start running into people, so it's like, you know, I, we, we jumped out and I just ran down this draw 
and I found these four. Yeah, third year. Third year, yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Did you usually find some stuff? Well, you know, I did last year. Uh -huh. And so I pulled in here, stopped, and I was wanting to show my friend here exactly where I found the horn, so I ran over there. And while I was over there, a truck came along, pulled up right alongside my truck, and there was a horn laying right <laughs> beside the road. <laughs> Actually hiking back, it's been walked by a few times, so just sticking out just like that. Yeah. And if we keep seeing people walking where we've walked and we say if they find a horn there, <laughs> we're gonna have to go over and wrestle them and wrestle them for it because we were there. As you go out in the field, you need to realize this is a wildlife management area. It does contain hazards out there. Bears, wolves, could be lions. If you're gonna be out there in the field anywhere, you'd want to have bear spray with you because uh, you could run into a bear. We had a great day here along the Rocky Mountain front shed hunting. We didn't find any, but seeing those grizzly bears was really cool. Now it's time to check out the latest and greatest with this week's gear guide. Hey, this is Joel from Big Sky Outdoors and we are at Montana Army Navy for this week's outdoor gear guide but we're going to check out and see what Austin has for us. Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Austin and I'm here today to talk to you guys a little bit about headlamps. So we carry a couple different brands such as Petzl and Surefire. The Petzl one I have in here today is the Takina. Its max output is 23 lumens. It's a great beginner light. Um, the price range is right at $20. Or you can go to our higher end option. It's the Surefire Maximus. It's at the $200 price range. You could have it for a lifetime. It burns right at 450 lumens. It's great. If you guys have any other questions, you can visit us at either one of our locations, Whitefish or Kalispell, or catch us online at MontanaArmyNavy.com. Thank you. Army Navy is your hunting headquarters. It's the best place around when you're serious about saving money on the things you need to go hunting. Knife sharpeners, wool gloves, backpacking meals, optics, socks, boots, insoles, stoves. Why, it's a virtual hunter's checklist. All name brands and all at fantastic savings. On Highway 2 in Evergreen and Highway 93 in Whitefish. MontanaArmyNavy.com. The 2014 Subaru Outback from Don K. Subaru is an IIHS top safety pick and gets 30 MPG. And just listen to what our customers are saying. This was the best, most enjoyable experience I've ever had in buying a car, Sarah F. We have nearly 50 Outbacks in stock starting as low as $23,495. Come experience it for yourself. Don K. Whitefish, locally owned, community involved. Welcome back to Big Sky Outdoors. If you're looking to get outside this week, here are a few options from this week's outdoor calendar. Cruise the Kukanusa, climb the cabinets, attack the yak. Coming up next weekend on July 5th and 6th is the annual Grand Fondo Kootenai, a two-day, 175-mile bike ride in the beautiful Yak Valley. $150 registration includes food and mechanical support. For more information and to register before the race, go to gfkootenai.com. Before you head out for an evening of barbecue and fireworks, cruise over to Lincoln for the Dynamite Dash. Starting at 7 a.m. on the 4th of July, the run includes a half marathon, 10K, 5K, or one mile options. Call 406-438-0005 for more information and to come up and get some fresh air in beautiful Lincoln, Montana. New to the world of fly fishing? On Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. now through September 28th, Lone Mountain Ranch in Big Sky is offering free fly fishing lessons. Classes include entomology, fly patterns, knots, equipment, and casting lessons. Contact the outdoor shop in Lone Mountain Ranch for more information and to sign up. Need a reason to burn off those hot dogs and potato salad from the 4th of July? 
How about a 23 mile, 3,000 foot gain, point to point run through the Bangtail Mountains? Race starts at 6.30 a.m. July 5th from the Bohart Ranch. For more information, registration, and shuttle location, visit www.bangtaildivide.com. If you have an event that you would like to post on Big Sky Outdoors, go to our Facebook page or www.bigskyoutdoorsshow.com. Give us all the details of your outdoor event and we'll post it here on Big Sky Outdoors. Biggest pair that, that came out as far as an individual antler, there's one that was uh, 14 and a half. Oh, I see. So it was okay. just, just a half a pound more. More than that but, one. Uh, but, you know, that was the biggest pair. Well, thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for holding her. Yeah. Always enjoy it. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Way to under. This is the earliest race. I've ever made it back. Good. Those are, that's a good haul for them. Oh. You know, and, and he was out in 20 minutes. Yeah, right. You know, he had a horse, you know, he rode out, uh, happened to find the right spot, yeah. and, uh, and he was back in 20 minutes. Yeah. So you never know. Hey, next time you're outdoors, bring your camera along and shoot some photos. Send them in to us here at Big Sky Outdoors and you'll be entered in our photo contest. Let's turn the time over to you, the viewers now, for this week's Photo of the Week contest. Our first photo was sent in by Patrick Jones from his trip to Glacier Park last summer. The weather started out a bit discouraging with heavy rain the night before, only to be greeted by a thick fog the next morning. If Patrick's spirits were dampened, they were surely lifted as he drove to the top of Logan Pass, broke out of the fog, and beheld this magnificent view. There really is a silver lining in all those storm clouds. Summertime fishing on the Missouri River can get a little crowded sometimes. But last February, Dave Smith got a golden day with the river to himself. He not only battled this beautiful brown, but a snowstorm nearly drove him off the river into the refuge of his truck. Dave stuck it out, and as the snow eased, a crazy midge hatch took off and he got into several nice fish. This next photo features a half-buried yurt at night. Pizzadera had spent the day with friends earning their turns in the swan range with lots of fresh powder. Hiking to the top of Morel Lookout rewarded them with some sweet views of the Mission and Swan Mountains. Later that night, after a gourmet meal in the yurt, Pete went out to look at the stars and snapped this gem of a photo. It was a great way to cap off an already killer ski season. Last July, Brad Patterson and a couple of friends climbed Mount Sayi in Glacier National Park. It took them several hours to climb to the top of the 10,000 foot peak. The temperature was cool at that altitude, but not any cooler than this view from the top. They were able to snap this photo of the northeast side of Mount Gould and see all the way down to Cracker Lake, some 4,000 feet below. But this week's winner comes from Matt Arby. Matt had taken his son Justin on his first mule deer hunt to central Montana. Matt says he had to work really hard and put on some miles to find the deer. Matt set up Justin on the edge of a coulee and was heading up wind to look into another coulee when he heard the crack of Justin's Ruger. Matt was a pretty proud dad when he got back to Justin and found that he had taken this nice buck. Congrats to Justin on his first buck and congrats to Matt for making the winning pitcher this week. Remember to submit your pictures along with a brief explanation of your latest outdoor adventures on our Facebook page, Big Sky Outdoors, or on our website, BigSkyOutdoorShow.com. The winner this week wins a Crossfire 2 rifle scope from Vortex Optics from our friends at Montana Army Navy in Kalispell and Whitefish. Get it, get out, and live it. Numbers are good. We had a total of 298 vehicles wow. in line uh, today that came in, and uh, so far today we've checked out a little over 300 antlers. The find as far as what the antlers were was good. Number of people was higher than, it, than it's been, but it, all in all it was a pretty orderly and uh, safe you know, safe day. Not any major wrecks, a uh, few things lost, a few things found, and uh, you know, all in all, you know, it, it went well. Thanks for joining us today here on Big Sky Outdoors. We've had a great day here along the Rocky Mountain front checking out all the wildlife. We'd like to thank Fish, Wildlife and Parks and the Boone and Crockett Club for showing us around. This is Joel Stevenson reminding you to get outside and enjoy this great state of ours. See you next time.